all verse rising soul family so we got this jess diaz girl right here instagram name just because so like you can tell like girls that literally dress up like this you know they go to these events hoping to hook up with a soulless vibrational bad boy right because you know these type of girls right here you know they not coming to dress like this to go get with a dude who is spiritually awake that doesn't fit in the matrix girls like this fits in the matrix okay girls like this fits in the matrix you can just tell by the aura of the pictures and all that like come on bro in new york new york city in many cities in new york they have a lot of females who put a lot of their frequencies into all these soulless vibrational bad boys you know because girls like her just because she's one of those girls where she'll look for guys who are dusty deformed face bad boys and try to work on them like projects to try to get them to become these soulful vibrational spiritually awake handsome guys and always fail she is just like kayla k she is just like she's just like riley marie this girl right here is just like riley marie and kayla k what they what those three got in common they love bad boys even if they can put on a facade at a workplace because females at a workplace, man, they be the main ones who love bad boys, man. Come on, bro. And, of course, like, she one of them females who be on that astrology stuff because I see the Pisces fish, like, swimming around on the tattoo of her. So, you know, she one of them females who be in that astrology stuff. But when things don't work out with a bad boy, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> she'll, like, cut it off completely. But then, you know, due to... Due to that sexual imprint of a bad boy, she'll go back and forth with the dude, back and forth with the dude, back and forth with the dude, saying he ain't shit and all that. Come on, we know. We know. We know. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Oh, and look at this. Look at this right here. This is a whole giveaway. You see that right there? When girls take pictures like this, when girls take pictures like that, you can see that she's into bad boys. She's into those Travis Scott's. Lil Dirk, you know, NBA Young Boys because NBA Young Boy, Travis, Travis Scott, and the the Lil Dirks, they love females like this. Females like this radiate a matrix frequency. They're synthetic humans with no souls. Synthetic humans are like cloned humans with no souls. Like you can see it. Like you can just see it right here, man. You can just see that. It's like all right in our faces, man. And the fact that just because had went to Greece, you know, when females go to Greece, Italy, Mexico, all these different countries on, on solo and girl trips, you I, I could tell you right now, just because, just because, like Jess Diaz, she's one of those females who like do so much to look good, right? So she probably got flew out. She guaranteed got flew out. She got flew out by some social media famous dude or a dude who was just like simping for her and like paid pay her like money to come to Greece just to get it on right as like by the ocean or anywhere out in Greece like girls like this cannot be trusted if you're a spiritually awake dude don't even waste your time with girls like this man just because she's she's like one of the girls who are part of Freemasonry okay they're one they're one of the girls who are part of Freemasonry you know they connect with the highest degree of Freemasonry on for our social media fame like, it makes total sense. Like, this is the type of girl right here. She will keep secrets away from spiritually awake, good-hearted dudes just to appear as a good girl. But then, like, behind closed doors, you know, I can guarantee you all of, all of Jess Diaz's messages, the people, the guys that she messages are a bunch of social media famous guys that she follows or may not have follow. And she be, and she be like, giving them like sets play vagina play videos and all that stuff just like just like the riley marie's and the kayla k's of the world we see it we see it we see it man like come on and i can tell you this man like <laughs> you know it's a whole bunch of it's a whole bunch of ran through females out in brooklyn new york man it's a whole bunch of ran through females out there like shorties out there is just no good they're not really good for spiritually awake guys at all and you could tell, you know, girls that wear shades or sunglasses, you know, just like anyone who wears shades or sunglasses, they tend to be demons who hide the soulless vibrational frequency look in their eyes. But that's a whole nother thing. You feel me? You know, 
a lot of people, a lot of people that could see a girl like this and would think that, oh, yeah, she's a good looking girl. You know what I'm saying? Like she could do no wrong. You feel me? Just being blinded by females beauty, because a lot of Jezebel demon spirits always got to be the good looking females. We know this. We know this. We know this for real, man. We know this like when girls be dressing like that, when girls be dressing like that and it's like around nighttime. Rather than like any location of planet Earth in these big countries, these girls literally, these girls literally be, you know, making plotting agendas. They make plotting agendas to be able to hook up and get it in with a lot of soulless vibrational demon spirit bad boys at a vehicle or at a trap house or at a big mansion, depending on depending on the type of level of the of the demon spirit bad boy, because a lot of bad boys be in these. A lot of bad boys, a lot of bad boys be financially rich too. You think about celebs and social media famous guys, right? So like let's get down to this. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Alright. Like as you see right here, man, like it ain't no different. It ain't no different. Like you see you see you see the caption, right? She used the B word, right? So you you can tell she used to be and called the B word. Jess Diaz is used to call the females that are so used to being called the B word, they'll literally have their captions be like, bitch, you're my soulmate. Okay, I guarantee you if a random dude, if a random dude who is like a if a random dude just came and just said like, you know, you're a bitch. Right. And he just met her. She just met him. She'd be like, don't call me a bitch. You got to treat me with respect. But her social media shows otherwise that she is. A so-called bitch okay like we we just know we just know soul family and then okay of course like girls like jess diaz like they can go from new york to fort lauderdale florida and guess what happens they always get smashed and passed by a bunch of dudes in fort lauderdale orlando tampa bay jacksonville in miami florida right right by the beaches right on yachts and boats like you know you can tell she took this picture on purpose because she want she want a lot of guys like NLE Chopper, NBA Youngboy, Lil Dirk, a bunch of famous guys and social media famous guys to see that and hit her up and fly her out to another location or just fly her out to their house. Because she took this picture specifically for NBA Youngboy and Lil Dirk to see and a bunch of and a bunch of other famous guys. You know, girls like this, she the type she the type that will look at uh Girls like this, bro. Come on, bro. Girls like this will look at a dude who is like handsome and he's spiritually awake. But he will just like watch his stories and like ignore him at like he don't exist. Right. But then at the same time, at the same time. You know, she a girl like Jess Diaz, after she's been ran through by a bunch of demon spirit bad boys and she's no longer good looking and her looks had gone to waste. She literally would go look for that handsome guy who's spiritually awake and then try to admit her feelings to him. And he and he don't want her no more. Right. Because girls like this, man, a lot of good looking females, they be arrogant and stuck up, bro. Like they don't do a lot of inner work on themselves. You feel me? They They really don't. They really don't. Like you all see it, in, you all see it in the writings, man. Like, come on, come on. Like, you know, she gotta wear makeup, all this type of stuff, bro. Like, you know, if she was to get around a guy who's spiritually awake and he's handsome, she will feel insecure about the the handsome dude that's spiritually awake, and like just try to like you know turn him down to make herself feel better about herself due to her own insecurities because females like this feel insecure around spiritually awake guys who don't fit in the matrix and they can see a lot of evil in in a, a fake society that's not real because i guarantee you girls like this if she was to get around me if she saw me in person she'd be like man he's too much for he's too much for jewel he's too much for me like i'm telling you i'm telling you right now i'm telling you right now you all go look at you go go look at my instagram jewels of jewels izodian melanin 21 jewels of universe 21 you know, you can go see how I look. Like, I literally look like a model. But besides the fact, man, I can guarantee you, man, like, look at this, man. Like, even a comment, even a comment saying, can you please check your DM? These are the type of girls who would, like, ignore messages from a lot of good-hearted dudes. I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing, bro. We all see it, man. We all see it. And, like, Jess Diaz, 
she's the type of girl. She's the type of girl like she, you know she she loves bad boys, so she gonna get she gonna have girls as friends that's into bad boys as well. Cause females like they pick guys based on the based on the friends that they have. Cause females are influenced by their by their friends, aka girls. You see what I'm talking about? But that's all I gotta tell you all. This is a soulless vibrational synthetic human.